Hello, my name is Ingrid Bocardi and I teach international and European refugee law. This area, sadly, has become rather topical in the last few years. UNHCR reports that we're currently experiencing the highest number of refugees and forcibly displaced migrants since the Second World War. Europe alone has um, experienced two million arrivals uh, in the last uh, two years. Um, the 1951 Geneva Convention is now over 65 years old and um, possibly, as many critics argue, in need of a rethink. This course aims to look at the current uh, refugee issues and um, discuss and analyse them critically. The course is composed of two halves. The first half focuses on the International Refugee Protection Framework. It analyzes the 1951 Geneva Convention and the 1967 New York Protocol. It dwells uh, on particular principles such as persecution and protection and on the causes um, of um, persecution. Um, it also looks at forms of international um, complementary protection as offered by other sources and treaties and international law and um, focuses as well on the challenges to the current system, its inadequacy and um, possibilities for reform. The second half of the course, as the title says, um, focuses on European efforts uh, in the field of refugee protection. Now the first question to be answered is why choose Europe? Um, we chose Europe because at the moment the European Union is the most advanced um, international uh, system of regional integration. In this context the European Union has strived uh, through its um, common European asylum system to harmonise as much as possible possible national um, asylum systems. Therefore, the EU has become a sort of laboratory or else a microcosm of um, efforts and challenges and it therefore reflects very well for the student um, the problems encountered in harmonising or trying to find some overarching trends and compromises in refugee protection. At the same time Europe has also pioneered some quite novel solutions um, um, and legislative initiatives and therefore it is particularly interesting to study the challenges that those pose. In the final part of the course, um, we uh, return to the international stage and a look at possibilities of reform. Therefore, there is certainly a part of the course that is uh, forward-looking and attempts uh, to critically analyse um, attempts for reform or for changes um, in the refugee uh, protection system. A um, note of um, caution, the Although we are starting obviously from a legal point of view, uh, the course attempts to approach uh, the migration field in a holistic manner. Therefore, we will rely as much as possible on an interdisciplinary approach, uh, whereby we will use different um, sources, sometimes um, from psychology, um, medicine and other related fields, to really have an in-depth understanding of the migration phenomenon, of the forced uh, migration um, issues, and and to give students a really well-rounded um, understanding of the field. Um, the course is, uh, consists of um, two-hour seminars uh, weekly. It's a one-term course. Um, it is assessed by a 3,000-word essay. You will have a choice of either some um, suggested titles or your own title. I'm particularly encouraging of students um, to pursue whatever interests they have in the field of forced migration. And we normally every year have a really interesting variety of topics. I am very hands-on. I give you a lot of help uh, to write your coursework. Um, therefore, you should not be worried about the challenges of this. Um, I have to say also rather proudly that every year we have some excellent uh, work, outstanding, and uh, one or two pieces inevitably end up being published. So we are very happy with the work, quality of work that we produce. Uh, thank you for listening and I hope to see you next year. Bye.